In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace and peace of God our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you, and with your spirit. Uh, good morning. You're very welcome to our first recorded Mass of this new lockdown, uh, offering Mass for a special intention, and I'm also saying the Mass of the Holy Souls to remember all of our loved ones who have gone before us, and I have on the altar some of the lists of the Holy Souls, but we bring the souls that are written in our hearts in, and in our love, those we remember so easily and those who are forgotten that they may all find rest in the peace and the mercy of the Lord. You raise the dead to life in the spirit, Lord have mercy. You bring pardon and peace to the sinner, Christ have mercy. You give light to those in darkness, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, glory of the faithful and life of the just, by the death and resurrection of, of whose Son we have been redeemed, look mercifully on your departed servants, that just as they professed the mystery of our resurrection, so they may merit to receive the joys of eternal happiness through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. We are the real people of the circumcision, we who worship in accordance with the Spirit of God. We have our own glory from Christ Jesus, without having to rely on a physical operation. If it came to relying on physical evidence, I should be fully qualified myself. Take any man who thinks he can rely on what is physical. I am even better qualified. I was born of the race of Israel and of the tribe of Benjamin, a Hebrew born of Hebrew parents, and I was circumcised when I was eight days old. As for the law, I was a Pharisee. As for working for religion, I was a persecutor of the church. As far as the law can, be, can make you perfect, I was faultless. But because of Christ, I have come to consider all the advantages that I had as disadvantages. Not only that, but I believe that nothing can happen that will outweigh the supreme advantage of knowing Christ Jesus, my Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let the hearts that seek the Lord rejoice. O oh, sing to the Lord, sing his praise, tell all his wonderful works. Be proud of his holy name. Let the hearts that seek the Lord rejoice. Let the hearts that seek the Lord rejoice. Consider the Lord and his strength. Constantly seek his face. Remember the wonders he has done, his miracles, the judgments he spoke. Let the hearts that seek the Lord rejoice. O children of Abraham, his servant, O sons of the Jacob he chose, he is the Lord our God, his judgments prevail in all the earth. Let the hearts that seek the Lord rejoice. Alleluia, alleluia. My soul is waiting for the Lord. I count on his word. Alleluia. The 
The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The tax collectors and the sinners were all seeking the company of Jesus to hear what he had to say. And the Pharisees and the scribes complained. This man, they said, welcomes sinners and eats with them. So he spoke this parable to them. What man among you with a hundred sheep, losing one, would not leave the ninety-nine in the wilderness and go after the missing one till he had found it? And when he found it, would he not joyfully take it on his shoulders? And then, when he got home, call together his friends and neighbours. Rejoice with me, he would say, I have found the sheep that was lost. In the same way I tell you, there will be more rejoicing in heaven over one repentant sinner than over ninety-nine virtuous men who have no need of repentance. Or again, what woman with ten drachmas would not, if she had lost one, light a lamp and sweep out the house and search thoroughly till she found it? And then, when she had found it, call together her friends and neighbours. Rejoice with me, she would say, I have found the drachma I had lost. In the same way I tell you, there is rejoicing among the angels of God over one repentant sinner. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. like the woman in the gospel who lost the drachma. We all have lost something precious in our lives, something more precious than what is material. And in these times, again, we have lost our freedom. And so we offer up our freedom today for the good of all, for the blessing and the healing of all. And with St. Paul we remember that nothing can outweigh the supreme advantage of knowing Christ Jesus, my Lord. So whether we are locked down whether we are free, we have the supreme advantage of knowing Christ Jesus, our Lord. And whether we are sick or well, rich or poor, in darkness or in light, we have the supreme advantage of knowing Christ Jesus as our Lord. We ask Mary, Mother of Divine Love, to intercede for all of us, all of our needs, the needs of the whole world, and especially in this time of the coronavirus, we say the prayer of Pope Francis. O Mary, you always shine on our path as a sign of salvation and of hope. We entrust ourselves to you, health of the sick, who at the cross took part in the pain of Jesus, keeping your faith firm. You know what we need, and we are sure that you will provide, so that, as in Cana of Galilee, we may return to joy and to feasting after this time of trial. Help us, Mother of Divine Love, to conform to the will of the Father and to do as we are told by Jesus who has taken upon himself our sufferings 
and carried our sorrows to lead us through the cross to the joy of the resurrection. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Almighty and merciful God, by means of these sacrificial offerings, Wash away, we pray, in the blood of Christ, the sins of your departed servants. For you purify unceasingly by your merciful forgiveness those you once cleansed in the waters of baptism through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he is the salvation of the world, the life of the human race, the resurrection of the dead. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty, and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. 
do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Richard our Bishop, the clergy, the religious and all your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, her husband, Saint Joseph, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray for the coming of the kingdom as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
the body of Christ. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let perpetual light shine upon them, O Lord, with your saints forever, for you are merciful. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Let us pray. Having received the sacrament of your only begotten Son, who was sacrificed for us and rose in glory. We humbly implore you, O Lord, for your departed servants, that cleansed by the Paschal mysteries, they may glory in the gift of the resurrection to come, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.